Hello, welcome to this video where we look at finding the equation of a plane when you're given three points that are on the plane. In the last video, we saw what is what does the equation of a plane even look like? And we saw an example where two lines were given that intersected and we were able to find the equation of the plane that contained both of those lines. Now we're looking for the equation of the plane that contains three points. This process is going to be the same though. You have to find, well, what do you need to find the equation of any plane? To find the equation of any plane, you're going to need a point that's on the plane. You have three to choose from, pick one. And you're going to need the normal vector to the plane. Okay. And so the normal vector to the plane is going to be a vector that's orthogonal to every vector that's in the plane. You don't have any vectors that are in the plane, but you can go get them though. All right. We need two vectors that are in the plane so that we can then cross product, take the cross product between those two vectors to get the vector that's normal to the plane. I label the points P, Q, and R. Doesn't really matter how you label them or which ones you choose. Get two vectors between these three points all right let's go p to q so we have the vector one two three uh the point one two three at a point three two one three minus one and two minus two and one minus three that gives us the vector two zero negative two the vector from p to q what i like to do i like to anchor where i have the one point as the initial point of two vectors so p to q next up i'm going to do p to r so negative 1 minus 1, negative 2 minus 2, 2 minus 3, ends up with negative 2, negative 4, negative 1. Just be careful. It's really easy to make a mistake. Call the one vector u. Call the other vector v. These are vectors that are in the plane for sure. Take the cross product. You'll get a vector that's normal to the plane. So we do the cross product. Have ijk, 2, 0, negative 2, negative 2, negative 4, negative 1. And we uh, cross product. So we take the i component to be cross out the i column and row, left with that two by two determinant. The j component to cross out the second column and first row, put those two parts together in the matrix. Don't forget the negative one though. And then the k, cross out the third column and the first row, and you have a two by two matrix there. Um, and then you'll have a zero minus eight in the i component negative 2 minus 4 but then a negative 1 on that in the j component and then negative 8 minus nothing in the k component so your cross product is negative 8 positive 6 and negative 8 that vector is normal to your plane if you happen to notice that you can pull out a constant, thus changing the magnitude of the vector, you're still going to be normal to the plane. What that does for you, it gives you smaller numbers to deal with in the next part of the calculation. So I recognize all these numbers are even. Uh, I see two negatives. Let me take out a negative two. I have my normal vector, and now I'm going to do negative two times that normal vector. It's still normal. Okay. So I call that being like in lowest terms. Uh, maybe I should call them N1 and N2 so they don't get too confused. They aren't exactly the same. Um, and so, yeah, I should call this guy. The first guy should be N1. The second guy should be N2. I don't want you to think they're the same. N1 is just negative. Uh, uh, the one guy is negative two times the other guy. Once you have these two things in hand, a point and a normal vector, you put them together the following way. As soon as you have the normal vector, you have three of the four parts for the equation of the plane. The ax, the by, the cz, you, have, you know a, b, and c. The only thing you're missing is d. The way you get d is by plugging the point into that equation. Let's pick the point 1, 2, 3. Plug that in for x, y, and z. Of those seven different variables that were there at first, you have six of those numbers. Therefore, you're just finding the last one, which is d for take away 6 plus a 12 is going to end up as a negative 10 on the other side for d. 
and you're done. You have exactly the equation of the plane. AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equals zero. I like to write it in this format. If you want to have it so that the, the uh, add the 10 over, you can do that too. I just like to have it in this format for um, one of our calculations from, from um, upcoming video. All right, so that's uh, given three points on the plane, find the equation. Uh, given three points in space, find the equation that's determined by those three points. You can always do it. There's nothing to stop us from being able to do that. Three points are enough to determine the equation of a plane. All right, uh, let's stop this video now. Come back with the next video looking at what happens when two planes um, interact with each other. Can they be intersecting? What do they intersect in? Uh, and what other ways can they interact with each other? That'll be the next video. Uh, let's go ahead and end this one now. My name is Nakaya Rimmer, helping you through this journey of multivariable calculus. The calculus is coming, I promise. Um, and so, um, yeah, please comment down below, like and subscribe. Uh, like, and if you have any questions, please reach out to me. See you in the next video.